Ash here with another random music tech video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect two audio interfaces to each other to increase the amount of audio inputs you have for your DAW so you can record a bunch of stuff like multiple drum mics, uh, multi-synthesizer stuff, um, all that good stuff. So today um, the gear I'm using is the Apollo X4 and the Focusrite 18i20 3rd gen. USB audio interface. Um, for this method, you can use any audio input, or I'm um, sorry, audio interface that has optical in and out connections uh, like these. Um, so let's get started. So for this edition, we're not using a speed of cable because I don't own that. We're using the ADAT cable. This is what they look like, sort of a gumdrop shape with a fiber optic cable going throughout. This will be able to send light and data very quickly. Um, I'm going to be using the Scarlett 18i20 as the extra eight inputs, and they're going to be routed into the UAD console app, as you can see here. So stick your ADAT cable into the optical out area. It doesn't matter which one, just stick it into one as long as you're recording at a sample rate of 48,000 uh, hertz or lower. So stick an ADAT cable into the optical out, and then bring the other end of that cable into the back of the Apollo and stick it into the optical in. So now we're gonna have to do some software routing. So pull up your Focusrite control app. We're gonna be on the output routing tab. Scroll down until you see ADAT outputs. This is gonna go from 1.1 to 1.8. And for 1.1, you wanna select input 1.1 on the um, Scarlett 18920, like the actual hardware unit. Um, for 8 at 1.2, you want input 2, and you're going to continue this, this chain of numbers until you get to the 8th one. And what this means is that any input uh, I stick into input 1 on the Scar Scarlet 18920, it's going to send that input 1 out to 8 at output 1.1, right? And then on this uh, UID console app, you're going to go to settings, select your digital input and output as 8 at. If I set it to speed if you'll see like all that disappears and this becomes a speed if rack. So set that to eight at you get the eight extra inputs should that show up. Um, set your sample rate to um, any of these really um, and make sure that that sample rate remains the same on the settings of the other software app. So we got 48,000 kilohertz um, or 48 kilohertz. I'm sorry for both. This will keep the audio rates intact with each other. They won't drift off and you won't get any latency recording through uh, one of the interfaces. Next, you gotta set up a clock um, and a slave clock. So we're gonna be using the Scarlet as the main clock source. So it's using the internal clock and the Apollo unit is gonna be set to ADAT. So it can drive off of the clock of the Scarlet unit. And that way there's not two internal clocks like trying to interact with each other in any poor way. They're just kind of connected and they're synced, right? So from now, you can put your Scarlet into standalone mode by literally disconnecting the USB cable that connects um, the unit to your computer. And now your Scarlet interface is going to be used as an octo preamp uh, in some ways. Um, make sure you set up your, if you want, um, the air settings. These are um, an analog uh, emulation of a Focusrite console or something like that. Um, but you, there's no button to click on the hardware unit, so you want to set that up before you unplug the USB-C unit. Okay, with all that rambling, let me show you how this works. So I have a uh, Behringer Pro 1 here. I'm going to set it to drone mode. And you'll see it's coming through on the ADAT connection, right? This is going through um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, input five on the Scarlet. Um, the X4, the Apollo X4 only has uh, inputs one through four. So this is how you know this is working. Let me turn off the drone mode. If I go to Ableton, uh, how I set this up is I go to the input and output drivers. I'm gonna set that to the Apollo because that's my main interface. Go to your input configuration, and instead of doing um, inputs one to four, uh, which is how many inputs are on the Apollo, you want to do one to 12 because you have an extra eight inputs now, right? So now to show you, if I have an audio track, um, you'll see the extra inputs. If I go to drone mode on the Pro One, you'll see it show up as a signal. 
and you can actually record that signal as shown here and boom you've connected two different interfaces now like I said you can do this with two uh, any two interfaces you want as long as they have the optical in and out connection and you need to have an ADAT cable right uh, the reason I'm posting this video is because there are a few videos that talk about um, connecting two interfaces to each other but I just haven't found one that explains how the Scarlet works in terms of this functionality because you have to set up the software routing in here already and then you're connecting the Scarlet to a non-native Focusrite um, product and everyone's just using the Behringer preamps so if you have a secondary um, audio interface lying around after you've upgraded or something don't throw it away don't sell it you can use it as an extra input source right so that's why I made this video anyway my name is Saito Cash. This has been my Music Tech Ramble. If you have any questions about any hardware you have, um, I have a crap ton of hardware, synthesizers, uh, MIDI cables, inputs, uh, literal like digital consoles, um, computer settings. Uh, so yeah, ask me about anything Music Techy, and I'll see if I can answer it.